Hi guys, Sammy here and I am so excited to be making this video. First reason, because you finally get to see my face. Um, all my other videos have been top down, you've only been able to see my hands. And so here I am. <laughs> um, the second reason is because I have decided to go on a YouTube journey, I guess you could say. Um, I want to start making videos, like legitimately. I have been interested in having a YouTube channel for like four years now. And I'll make videos or I'll make content, um, take pictures, all that kind of stuff. And then I won't post it because I feel like it's not good enough or it's not original or no one's going to like it. And I've always felt that way about myself. And I've looked at my YouTube channel now. I only have eight subscribers and only like three or four views on each video. And so, except one, one has some pretty decent views, but I don't know. So I just felt like you can't do this. You're not popular. You've never been popular. No one cares about what you have to say or do. Um, but my word of the year this year is enough. And part of that I want to manifest to myself is that I am enough and I can do this. And yeah, I might not go viral and I might not be famous by any means. That's not the goal. The goal is to inspire others to do their best, um, to live their life to the fullest and to be authentic. That is one thing that has struck to my core recently. Um, is how to be authentic and to be yourself and to embrace even the imperfect and messy parts of your life. And so that's what this YouTube channel is going to be about is how life can be messy, but that's okay. We can still get through things and live our lives to the fullest. Um, one thing that's always been fascinating to me is how one person has so many different identities that make them who they are. Um, I learned that when I was going to school and I just love that idea um, of how as a person we're always evolving, we're changing and our identities change. Even if it's the same identity, somehow it evolves into something new. Um, and so I want to encompass that also in my channel. So. I want to talk about some of my identities um, to introduce myself and to get to know me a little bit better. So the first one, um, I am a wife to my awesome husband. His name is Sean and we have been married for five years. We met in college and we dated for a year and then got married. So we met in January and dated and then we got married in December of 2016 and he's my best friend. I I love him. He can be a stinker sometimes and he loves to tease me, but it makes me a better person. Um we have a little girl and so my next identity is that I am a mom. Um our little girl, her name is Emery and she's 1 years old. We had her in uh, November 2020, so right in the middle of the freaking pandemic. Um, I actually found out that I was pregnant with her in March, 2020. And um, that was a long road. I was honestly shocked because me and my husband have been struggling with infertility for about two years at that point. Um, I was diagnosed with PCOS when we were trying to have a baby. And then we realized that that was why we couldn't have a baby. And so I started with all this testing and taking different pills and all that. And we finally got pregnant and I was so excited. Like I said, we found out in March, it was like the first week of March, cause I was actually doing my testing to track my PCOS and like all my um, stuff with that. And I just had this thought like, I'm just going to take a pregnancy test. And I did. And I started crying. I did not believe myself at first. And I took like 10 because I wanted to make sure it was right before I told Sean. Um, but yeah, we got pregnant and we were so excited. And then a week later, everything shut down because of the coronavirus and the pandemic. And it 
was a long pregnancy because of that. I feel like um, we were in quarantine and locked up for a lot of it and it just made me feel stir crazy, especially because my first trimester, I was so, so sick and I really hated <laughs> my life at that point. Um, but things got better. It was also hard just from the standpoint that when I had doctor's appointments, I had to go by myself. My husband was not allowed to go to any of my appointments. I think he went to like one or two, but that was it. Um, he was able to go to her birth, so he did get to see her be born. And he was there with me at the hospital, which I am so grateful for. And I'm, yeah, it was just so crazy. And then afterwards we got home still in a pandemic postpartum that was hard as well but through this long journey of pregnancy and becoming a mom through a pandemic um i've learned how strong i am and that i really can do hard things in life and that i have an amazing support system my husband is amazing and he's been there every step of the way. I love learning more about myself as I have developed in becoming a mom. And Emery is just the light of our lives. She is amazing. Um, so I'm excited for you guys to see her in vlogs or just whenever she decides to come in here because she thinks she owns the place and we'll just do whatever she wants. So that is my other, one of my other identities. My next identity is that I am a middle school English teacher. Um, this is technically my first year teaching. I did teach half of the school year last year from January to May um, in lieu of my student teaching because we were so desperate for <laughs> teachers at the time. And so they told me like, hey, you can be an actual teacher, get your student teaching over with and get paid. So I was like, deal because you normally don't get paid for student teaching. Um, and so I taught up at my local high school for that. I taught 11th and 12th graders. And then when the school year ended, my mentors that were coming in from the district to evaluate me and giving me pointers since I didn't have a mentor teacher because I was in my own classroom, they're like, hey, you do really well in the secondary setting. Um, you're great with high schoolers, that's awesome but you have this personality that I think would do so well in a junior high school. And I was like, okay. Um, so I believed them. I applied for a job at my local junior high and I got it. And so I'm currently teaching eighth and ninth grade English and I love it. Um, I obviously it's no secret education teaching right now has been so hard for all of us we feel burned out we don't know what we're doing with the pandemic and just everything um so it has been hard but i i love my job i love being a teacher i love watching these kids grow it is just awesome um just so there's no confusion where i'm from i'm from utah um junior high is like our middle school if you're if you don't know um the part of Utah I'm in, we have junior highs instead of middle schools. Some parts of the state do have middle schools, but not where I live. And so what junior high is, is with elementary, you go kindergarten through sixth grade, and then junior high is seventh through ninth, and then high school is 10th through 12th. And it's kind of weird because ninth grade is still considered high school in the junior high. They just still go to junior high instead of go to high school. Um, so my curriculum is kind of weird because I'm teaching eighth graders, which they are middle schoolers. And then I'm teaching ninth graders, which are high schoolers. And so it's just kind of weird. I like it though. I love the curriculum I teach. I probably would say I enjoy teaching ninth grade a little bit more than eighth grade. Eighth graders are hilarious and I love them for that. But the curriculum that we go through, it's not my favorite. I definitely like my ninth grade curriculum a lot more. But in this channel, I am going to show you guys um, my classroom, what I'm doing in my classroom, um, how I unit plan for each unit that I teach, and then how I use my teacher planner on a daily basis. 
Um, so you'll get to see my classroom, you'll get to see Teacher Sammy, and I'm so excited for that. Um, I won't disclose where I teach or what location I'm in or anything like that, just for protection of me and my students. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited about that. Um, another identity that I have and that I am extremely passionate about is that I have epilepsy. Um, and I am an advocate for epilepsy awareness. When I was three years old, that's when I had my first seizure and I was diagnosed with complex partial seizures. Um, I have had seizures my whole life since I was three. They were very common as a child and then I kind of grew out of them um, after high school. But then I had a seizure last year. Um, it was actually a grand mal seizure. So my seizures have evolved and it was the first one my husband ever saw. It was kind of scary. <laughs> um, and it just kind of knocked me off my feet and I felt so discouraged because I had been seizure free for seven years at that point. Um, and then I had another one. We do think it's from just stress and having our daughter um, trying to get figure life out at that point. I was just super stressed, struggling with postpartum depression and anxiety. Um, so that's why we're thinking we I had it. We're not exactly sure. Doctors have never been able to tell me why I have seizures. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I'm such an advocate for it is I want people to understand that anyone can have a seizure, anyone can develop epilepsy, um, but that does not make us different. Um, I had a lot of friends in school that were scared when they found out that I had epilepsy. Um, and it's honestly because they didn't know what they needed to do in those circumstances. Um, but I am normal. It's not contagious. I can still live a fairly normal life. I do have to take a lot of medications and vitamins to help keep my body stable. But other than that, I can live a pretty normal life. I do drive. Um, I don't drive a lot. I only really drive around town um, to run errands and go to work, things like that. Um, just to keep myself and others safe. But yeah, that is just another identity of mine. And I will be talking about that throughout um, vlogs and things like that because um, I am involved with an epilepsy walk that happens in Salt Lake City um, every year. And then I'm always talking about epilepsy and giving tips and um, facts about epilepsy throughout March and November when it is Epilepsy Awareness Month. And so just be on the lookout for that. If you have any questions about epilepsy or seizures in general, never be afraid to ask because I'm very open about this. Um, everyone in my life knows that I have epilepsy. Even my principal, he knows. All my students know. Um, on the first week of school, somewhere in there when I have time, I sit all my kids down and we talk about it and we talk about how um, I have seizures and what they need to do in case I were to have one while teaching. And even for junior high kids, they took it so seriously. They're so respectful um, and they really want to help, which I think is so awesome. Um, and so, yeah, I'm very, very open about that. Um, another identity of mine that is fairly clear since starting my channel is I am a planner. Um, I have a very type one personality in a lot of ways. Um, I have to be organized. I have to have a to-do list and I have turned to planning for that. It also helps my anxiety a lot. Um, and so I will be using my Erin Condren life planner. Um, You'll see it on the channel. I'll still be doing plan with me's in this thing and sharing um, some different things I'm doing in my planner. Um, I also have a daily planner that you'll get to see how I use 
and memory planning. That's another thing that is very dear to my heart. And so, yeah, I am just so excited about this journey. Um, hopefully, I was able to introduce myself well to you guys and you were able to get to know me a little bit better. If you have any questions about my about me, um, please drop them in the comments and I'd love to answer them. And also, if you've watched this video, please introduce yourself. I want to get to know those that are watching my videos. Um, drop some fun facts about yourself, like three, three to five fun facts. That's the teacher side coming out of me. Um, and let's just get to know each other, build a awesome friendship and community here. And until next time, guys, I will see you later. Have a great day.